I would like to welcome everyone to this OCAD webinar with the topic multiple representation. My name is Markus Fuchs. I'm a software engineer at OCAD since 2011. This webinar will be split up into three different sections. First of all, I'd like to show you the handling and the creation and deletion of representations and explain the different view modes you can have on the representation. In the second part, I'm going to explain the settings and the default behavior of OCAD, where you can select or what you can select with the settings. And in the third and last part, I show a little example based on the tutorial visualization of GIS data with two themes I'm going to create in the map file where it will be a summer and a winter theme on the same base map or original map or how it's called in OCAD multiple representation. In the first part of the webinar, I'm going to explain what OCAD multiple representation is and what the settings are like are explained in the second part. But now let's jump right into the topic. Uh, if you start up OCAD, uh, either mapping solution I'm going to show here or professional version you uh, get the menu entry multiple representation with two sub entries the manager and a um, um, functionality to disable multiple representation for the OCAD map file at all for the demonstration purpose, I used the data based on the tutorial uh, visualization of GIS data. And I have here the empty project on it. I'm going to load it. And let's jump right into the topic. In order to activate, you have to go to multiple representation, start up the manager, and here you have the checkbox to enable multiple representation. By default, OCAD has a disabled multiple on every map file uh, because it creates additional data in the map file which is not needed if you do not want to use it. But now we want to enable it. And wait, the structure is created for all objects that are currently in the map file. You can also start with an empty map file. If you do not have any representations or scenes, uh, within your real map. You get just the original map and OCAD also tells you that it's currently showing you the original map. Also in the menu title you get M uh, MR with the original map written in here. The manager on the representations tab is divided into two columns. On the left column you have the button for the original map the, to switch to the original map. You have a small tick box uh, where you can show the changes. I explain them later. And you have all your representations. On the right hand side you have the currently shown representation written down here. You have the possibility to add representations and you have the possibility to add a visual extent 
this extent is only for your visual reference. If you want to cut map plans um, out of a larger OCAD file or also to visually represent where you have done your changes. The extent is also used if you export the part of map or if you use OCAD part of map export functionality then the extent if you have set it uh, is used. So if I now create for example in the demonstration I want to have a summer a representation or scene in the map and a winter representation or scene in the map. I'm going to add now both of them. And OCAD also switches to the recently added representation. You can also always go back here and show you the original map. Also notice OCAD loads all objects that are in the representation and if you have many of them it may take a while but should be fast um, on your PC too. As for the second part, I explain the settings you have in the Multiple Representation Manager. These settings are both regarding to the default behavior OCAD will show if you delete objects from the original map, if you have altered the object or mutated the object in your in your representations or any of your representations and also in regards of objects mutated when you update the object in the original map. By default OCAD asks questions on every action you do on the deletion or on the update but you can also change the default behavior to in case of deletion of objects from the original map you can change the default behavior to delete the object only from the original map and retain or keep it in every representation where it's mutated or in every representation not only where it's mutated but if you mutate it in one representation, it will be kept in every representation. Or to pass through the deletion action to the representations. So if you delete the object in the main or original map, it will be passed through and deleted also in the representations. On the object update side, you have the possibility to either ask or tell OCAD it should also update the object in the representations. Here you have the update is meant if you, for example, move any objects or my buildings here if they are moved somewhere else or if you update the text OCAD will ask you or if you change the default behavior update the position of the object if you move any other objects than text by text objects the position of the mutated object will be retained and OCAD updates only the text if the text is changed. 
for example, if you rename a railway station or if you rename a city, a part of the city, it's if it's gonna be renamed, uh, OCAD will update the text but will retain the position of the mutated object. I'm going to explain this again in the demonstration part. For the demonstration part, we have already added our two representations slash themes. I would like to show you on this demo of the capabilities of OCAD multiple representation and the first explanation on the multiple representation manager and I'm now gonna work with both of them. First I'd like to add a place description uh, here on the railway station shown in the middle here and I'm gonna add it in the original map to show you if you're gonna add anything in the original map here I write here that the station is called Celerina and if I'm now gonna save it by switching or selecting the other tool my selection tool is selected again and if I switch now to my representations I add summer by double clicking on them or it's the winter by double clicking on them both are have the text spelled out here that the station is called Celerina. Uh, it's a bit awkward place, text placement here in the middle of the buildings. Now I move the name up here, it should be better readable. Okay, now I add, because I would like to have a summer topic in, in my map, which is not necessary be shown in the original map. I'm gonna add a campsite and select a, my campsite symbol and I know that there is a campsite down here on the river, down the river here, near the other railway station and I add the campsite object. I draw it because it's a point object I just have to click once here and now the campsite and I also want to have it described. I take this text object and campsite and move the text that's in in my view here and if I gonna switch back to the original map now you will be you will see that the campsite is gone but if i switch back to the summer i see the campsite again if it's load up now you you see the campsite again so you have add, we have just added an object or two objects uh, a text symbol and the object or to just the, the summer representation and if I now distinguish go back to the winter representation 
we know that there is a ski school over here by the left and I also add the text ski school now and place it place it here okay now we have added two three objects in total to the representations and my original map just have the station called Celerina here but no ski school and no campsite is shown in the represent in the original map now that I've loaded the summer representation and I want to show you what's the visual extent it's gonna look like you define here the whistle extent and you will get the currently viewed area as a border you can zoom down to and select the area you want to have visually framed with the design define and gonna save it now and I I want this area to be cut out later for my summer map because the ski slopes aren't this interesting in the summer and now you're gonna see here that the station name Celerina would be out of the map. The text is added in the base map or original map and I'm selected and move it down here that it will be later in the, in the map and I also add two add here that it's not only Celerina but also Celerina station so I have two mutations for the object Celerina stay uh, or text here in this case I have added the word station and I've also moved the position down here so if I now enable here on the left side of the multiple representation manager the checkbox show me the changes I I will get a hard, hard to see um, a hard to see key line of the original text Celerina up here and the position of the text from the original map. This is done with every object. For example, if I now would move this building up here, I see here the keyline mode of the object or the keyline of the object and the building is moved up here. If I untick it, the key line will be gone again. Now that I've moved the object, I want to retain to its ori original position. It can be done here by just delete the object from the representation go back to the original map here will be the here is the object on the original map and 
by right click you get the context menu and you can copy it to the representation you want to retain it to the original position. You must not delete it but you can just copy it and OCAD will automatically remove the object and copy the or relink the original object to the representation. So we're gonna copy it. If I switch to summer you will see that the object in our case this building is now on the original position. So I gonna zoom to the extent I want to Okay, it zooms to the maximum possible extent where I have my visual representation in here. If I now select the winter, I'm not able to zoom to any extent here because I have not defined a representation extent yet. Zoom out again. I de define an extent on the representation to be in this area. Save it. Okay, it will draw me the border. And now I can zoom to the extent. It mm, doesn't make any difference if you have the sh extent shown. You can always zoom to the extent. It okay, visually represents the border. If you tick the show me the extent or show extent area button you will get a red frame border on the area. If for whatever reason you add a representation, I now add a test representation and you would like to delete it again, you have to single click it but you can't delete it right now because it's shown you need to switch to an, another representation or the original map then single click it and select delete okay this is gonna ask you whether you want to delete it or really delete it because this action can't be undone. So now the representation is deleted. If for whatever reason you would like to remove all your representations, you can disable OCAD multiple representation for your file, but keep in mind that everything you have done in the representation only will be thrown away. So OCAD will only retain the objects shown in your original map, but OCAD will throw away every change and every history you have changed here uh, in the representations. Because the question was raised to you during the webinar, uh, I'm going to explain the settings tab again. These settings are only used for settings that are only affected if you do changes in the original map. 
not in the representation. If you delete an object from any representation, it's deleted. OCAD will not ask you any questions if you delete objects, whether it's an object that only appears in the representation or it's from an original map. If but if you do changes to the original map and you have a mutation of the object, then OCAD will ask you questions about it, whether you would like to keep the mutations in the representations and delete it only from the original map or you would like to delete it from all your representations and here you can select the default behavior for example I have mutated the, the Celerino railway station here uh, in the summer scene or representation and I've also moved the position here. If I now go to the original map and update the text that I'd like in every map that it's called Celerina Station. OCAD will present me the question because I've set in my settings tab selected it to ask me every time what would you like to do with this object in the representation summer. OCAD will go from your first representation to your last representation and ask you this question. Would you like to update the object? which in the, my case it's a text object, OCAD will, will only update the text content but re, will retain the position of every mutated position in the representation. Would you like to update it? And I can tell OCAD yes, no, or I can also tell it to update in an updated in every representation. Now uh, I would like to say yes. You see that the position of our description has not changed, but you see that the station is written here, but we have mutated the object not only in position but also added the station only in the summer representation but if you switch to the winter representation now you also will see the change of the station name now you see that our wizard extends overlaps with the name station and you can mutate it here moving it and do a new text placement for the winter representation only. After this mutation OCAD will ask you for every representation where you have mutated it. OCAD won't ask you if you would like to update it if there is no change of the object in the representation. I hope that it, this explains the settings and the behavior again. I also would like to point out the additional resources where you can find them. This is for one, the OCAD wiki, where we continuously updating our help topics and also where you can find detailed description and also tutorials on how to do stuff with OCAD and as mentioned before it continuously updated uh, as 
the functionality of OCAD is growing. And I also would point to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash OCAD.com, where we will upload additional resources as they are created, like this webinar. We also add additional webinars in the future to different topics that addresses functionality that is implemented newly or also functionality that is in OCAD since some time but it's not commonly known that OCAD is capable of this. I'd like to say thank you to everyone attending this webinar and I would be pleased to get a feedback from you. Just shoot me a few lines uh, to either pers my personal email address or to the general email address regarding this webinar if you have any further questions uh, just write a few lines um, that we can either improve or if you're happy with the webinar I'd also nice to hear from you and your thoughts Thank you and see you in the next webinar.